I went into father's study to, to, to see him, and uh, just as I opened the door, there was Edward standing in the door by the bookshelf, very tall, very good looking, and very shy and reserved, and uh, we shook hands. And um, I remember very well indeed that he shook my hand very firmly and hard, and I liked that. And I thought, well, yes, you look rather perhaps shy and uh, timid, but uh, you, you don't shake hands as if you were uh, at all flabby. And I stayed there and listened to Father and Edward talking, and then left them. And he came several times, and every time that he came, I was attracted by him. I went into the study to join in the talk, which was all about books, of course, and writing. And uh, Edward at the time was, um, uh, he had written a book about um, uh, uh, nature, a sort of nature diary. And uh, it was obvious that he told my father how interested he was in, in, in his do with wildlife and how he used to go tremendous walks in the um, country around London, which was then a great deal more than it is now. And father one day said, uh, here's Helen, who was longing for the country. Why don't you take her on one of your walks? So Edward said he would, and I was very keen. And so that was how it all began. We went to um, Malden, I think. I think it was. Anyway, one of those places that are now suburbs of London. They were completely country in those days. And it were all hedges and lanes and fields, no houses, except little villages. And then we um, we did this several times, you see. We got to know each other and got more and more intimate. And, and um, Edward talked to me mostly about books, but also about nature. And I remember very well his telling me, oh, he lent me a book about birds. And in it was an illustration of, a, of birds, lots of illustrations of birds, but one particularly, the picture of the blue tit. And I'd never seen a blue tit, as far as I knew, and I couldn't believe that such a brilliant bird was an English bird. And it surprised me very much to find it was a common uh, little wild bird. And they did, I remember, was very amused at my awful ignorance of, of birds and flowers and everything, because I'd never been in the country, you see. So I enjoyed these walks tremendously, and uh, I remember being very pleased that my uh, shoes got covered with mud and my skirts got uh, covered with bits of grass and burrs and things because we scrambled about in hedges. And I came home feeling very countrified and happy. Father was simply delighted. But he didn't live very long after that. So he was very fond of Edward and he was delighted that Edward and I, being so friendly, Though he'd no idea then that uh, we should marry.